Hi guys, I hope you had a fantastic March. I definitely had a very memorable one. I didn't try out a lot of beauty products this month because my mom came to visit me in London and we ended up going on a tour of the UK. So we went to Scotland, Northern Ireland, Ireland, Wales, and a bit of the countryside of England. And it was a really fun time. So I wanted to share with you my highlights from March, which do include a few products and songs and books like last time, but it also includes some wonderful memories I had. So a highlight for me for March was going to Ireland. I've always wanted to go and it is such a beautiful country. You are so lucky if you live there. Everyone is so friendly and nice and it's just such an amazing place. So there I obviously had to try Guinness and surprisingly I really liked it. I am not much of a beer drinker, but I thoroughly enjoyed the Guinness. And to top it off, I also had Guinness bread, which was absolutely amazing. I am on the hunt for a recipe because this bread was delicious. I got it in some cafe with soup and it was just absolutely amazing. There were stuts in it. It was just the greatest. I love bread and this was amazing and I really need to find a recipe for it. So that's definitely one of my top highlights for March. Like I said, I absolutely loved Ireland and one of my favorite places I visited was Kilkenny. I hope I'm saying that correctly and it is just such a beautiful place and everyone is so friendly and I really loved it there. It's just so amazing. If you have a chance to check it out, I highly suggest it. It just has this wonderful atmosphere about it and it is just such a nice place. While on this UK tour with my mom, we ended up going to Windsor Castle and it is definitely such a treat to go there and kind of see the grandeur of the place and the history of it I just found it absolutely amazing. I'd never been to a castle or on a tour or anything like this before and I absolutely When my mom came she really wanted to see a play. To see a play on the West End is such an amazing thing to do if you have the time to do it while you're in London. And my mom and I went to see Agatha Christie's The Mouse Trap and this is like my little brochure thing from it. And it is such a good play. I really enjoyed it. it. It's a mystery and it was so great. It was really intriguing. It has a... it's not a predictable ending is all I'm going to say and it's definitely worth checking out. My mom absolutely loves Indian food so while in London I had to take her to Brick Lane. If you know anything about Brick Lane it has about like 15 to 20 curry places. It is just amazing. So many to choose from and we ended up going to Brick Lane Brasserie and it was absolutely amazing. I've tried out a few places on Brick Lane and this is by far my absolute favorite. The staff are so nice and amazing. They like fold the <laughs> napkins really nicely and I was watching the guy do it and I kept trying to like fold it like him and he came over and actually taught me how to fold the napkin. <laughs> I really enjoyed that and the Food is just absolutely amazing. Some of my favorite food on Brick Lane when it comes to curry restaurants. I highly recommend this one. I've tried out a bunch of them and this is by far the best. Another thing I've absolutely been loving for the month of October and really for the past few months is this avocado toast. I'll try to insert a picture of it. I hope I've figured out how to edit that in. Here it is. It is absolutely amazing. I make it myself. I I guess it's weird that like a favorite is something I make, but it's something I've been testing out and I've jo I've gotten the ingredients just right and perfect that it tastes absolutely amazing. If you are interested, let me know and I can definitely send you the recipe. It's so simple, but it's absolutely delicious and everyone who tries it lets me know how much they love it, which makes me feel great. So, it's definitely been a highlight. So, while I was on this UK tour with my mom, I definitely did not have the time to shower every day so I definitely had to rely on dry shampoo and I was using this dry shampoo from Boots and it's the original and it says it refreshes hair, root boost and it has a light fragrance. It looks like this one with the green cap and I have absolutely been loving it. I used it today. My hair doesn't look oily at all. I'm definitely someone who has the oiliest hair on the second day and I usually have to shower every day and I've recently gotten really into dry shampoos and testing out a bunch of different ones because I don't have time to shower every day and it's not supposed to, it's apparently not that great for your hair so I try to use dry shampoo to kind of soak up that excess oil so I don't look absolutely disgusting on day two 
and this one has been a real surprise. I wasn't sure if Boots brand was going to be able to pull it off, but it definitely has. One of my all-time favorite things that I have been using the past few months is this hand cream from Superdrug. It is their intensive moisture hand cream and it softens and smooth hands. It has shea butter and pro-vitamin B5 and it is an ultra hydrating formula for dry to very dry hands. It looks like this. It is absolutely amazing. Definitely the best hand cream I have ever used. I get such dry hands in the winter to the point that like my hands turn white and get cracked and bleed and I've been using this every night before bed and throughout the day and it is absolutely amazing. When I went on this UK tour with my mom, I didn't bring it. The tour was only 10 days long. By like day five without using this, my hands were bleeding because they were so dry. So this has definitely been an amazing product. I highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. It is so affordable and it's definitely better than any hand cream I've ever used in my life. So the two songs I've been listening to on repeat this month are Comb and Hell's Devotion and 21 Pilots' House of Gold. House of Gold is an older song, like from 2013 I believe, and I just recently discovered it while just listening to a bunch of random YouTube 21 Pilot songs and it came up on the playlist and I'm really liking it. It's unlike their other stuff and I love bands that are able to just change up their sound and can do anything and not every song sounds the same and while they have an amazing sound, it's great to hear them do different things. So these have been my highlights for March 2017. I hope you enjoyed hearing about them. I had an absolutely great month and I'm excited to see what April has in store. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye!